Hello, this is Mocha Product Manager Martin Brennan with a quick overview on three approaches to stabilizing 360 footage in Mocha VR. We're going to be covering stabilizing using the horizon in stereo, stabilizing using near objects in the scene, and finally stabilizing using a combination of multiple layers for long or fast moving shots. First, let's start with this top bottom stereo shot from CPIX Japan. We want to get rid of all this choppy ocean making us seasick in the VR view. We apply Mocha VR, choose the top bottom setting to set up stereo, and then dive into the Mocha GUI with the large friendly button at the top of the effect. Inside, we're now set up with the left and right views and can begin tracking. Stabilizing with the horizon is as simple as drawing some tracking shapes, lining up the surface to the grid to watch our track, and then setting track all views if we're in stereo and start tracking forwards. This recording has been sped up so you don't have to sit through all the long tracks. Once the tracking is finished, you can see the tracking has been automatically applied to both left and right views. We can then switch over to the reorient module to begin stabilizing. By default, you'll see the red horizon line ready to adjust to the original horizon. We turn on show control to make it easier to move this line around to fit the curve. Pressing play will then show the red line matching the horizon based on the tracking data. Turning off the horizon view will flatten the view into a preview of the final stabilized shot. And once again, if you're using stereo, this will be automatically applied to the other view. We can also control the overall orientation of the scene in the same way as the horizon alignment, using the view control in either 360 view or the equirectangular view. Closing and saving Mocha brings us back to the host workspace, where we can now choose reorient from the module render menu, and then check render to get our work rendering onto the timeline. If you don't have an obvious far horizon in your shot, then you can use a technique called near object stabilization. For example here, we don't really have a horizon to deal with, except maybe for the ends of the corridor. So instead we track a shape on one side of the corridor, and then we track a shape on another plane in the scene that is not on the same plane as the one we already tracked. In this case it's the wall on the other side of the corridor, but it could just as easily have been the floor, or perhaps the ceiling. This gives Mocha the necessary depth to calculate the relative rotation of the scene. We can then go to the reorient module, make sure both layers have their processing cogs turned on, and start adjusting the horizon line just like we did in the previous example. This will then flatten out in the render preview once we've turned the horizon line off, and we can achieve a smooth result. The key here is that we have two layers rather than just one, and Mocha is using the depth of those different planes to work out our scene rotation. Finally, you can use combinations of near object and horizon tracks over time to create a concatenated stabilize. The main thing you have to do is overlap the tracking of each layer. So in this bike riding shot, we have a very long shaky sequence with far horizons being obscured constantly. We draw and track shapes just like we did in the previous examples, but instead of just one long track, we stop before a tracking section becomes unstable or obscured and draw a new shape to keep things going. For example here, we're stopping the track just as a building or ground section is going off into the distance, and we are tracking a new area that is now more accurate to track. The key is we're making sure the layers are overlapped in time by a few frames to keep a smooth result. Once we're done with one side of the road, we can find other planes on the ground or the other side of the road to help with the calculation. In this example we're using the near object technique, so we're making sure there are at least two layers on different planes to get the overall rotation of the camera. Once you've built up your tracks along the shot, you move over to reorient and make sure all the cogs are turned on in the layer controls, and begin exactly the same process as before. Setting the horizon, checking the fit, and then previewing the stabilization, making any modifications you require. If you're using the plugin version, you can then close and save the project, choose reorient from the module render options, and click render, ready for output. So thanks for watching this brief overview of stabilizing 360 footage using the Mocha VR reorient module, which now provides workflows far more flexible than just tracking a single horizon. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us on the BorisFX forums, and check out more in-depth tutorials on all Mocha topics at borisfx.com.